What's going on everyone? Hope you have a great day. So here I am back on another video. My name is Surajit and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to try again on another dual coin mining and this is about the Retherium and also the Zilliqa. So in this before video or this video, I updated you in before that I make a video. It's about the Retherium and also the Zilliqa and let's see that how to mine the Retherium and also the Zilliqa as a dual coin mining. So for the Retherium, I'm using the Metamax wallet and for the Zilliqa I'm using the Exodus wallet and for the mining pool I'm using the Eka pool for the Retherium and for the Zilliqa I'm going to use as a crazy pool so you can use K1 pool but I'm going to use crazy pool but in this year I'm not using the SRB miner as a direct so I'm going to use as a custom miner as well just like the Alifium so I'm going to use SRB miner version 2.3.5. The latest version is right now available. But for there, I'm not using the direct. I'm using the custom SRB miner. And the price is right now for the Retherium is 0.16 to 17 dollar is right now is going on. And for the Zilliqa on coin market cap is roughly 0.1 cents. The actual on one day chart is 1.17 percent down on one day chart and on seven day chart is about 0.06 to 0.07 percent down. And right now we are going to the high boys and this is my high boys account. And in this before video, I make a video. It's about that on the dual coin mining as on Retherium and also the Alifium. And right now we are going to use as a Retherium and also the Zilliqa. So let's back to how to make the flat sheet and also the overclock setting. So on before that on hashit.nu here you can see that there is not available any overclock setting for the Retherium and also the Zilliqa as a dual coin mining. However, there is available as a Retherium and Radiant Retherium and Alifium and as a single coin mining as a Retherium. So which overclock I am going to use and what is the hash rate and the efficiency. Let's go to the high voice and here we can see that I make a flight sheet. It's about for the dual coin mining and let's see that what is the hash rate and how to make the flight sheet. So we need to first select the coin as a RTH select the metamax wallet for the Retherium and in here I'm not using the direct in here. So you can choose on there but this is not going to be working for because I make a flat sheet on the new section and you can understand that what is is going on. So if I set RTH as a first coin and then select the Metamax wallet and then select the mining pool as a Germany, I select in here and for the SRB miner, if I choose the SRB miner direct on there and then choose as a Zill in direct in here, then choose the Zill Exodus wallet choose configure in minor or the crazy pool or the k1 pool anything so i'm using the us server in from there and set the name in here as a rtg and zil test but what is going on in there on the setup config file that the first coin is already take as a default and for there there is no issue so I choose as a it has b3 in here for the wallet in here I am using the wall and worker name is the same setting so we can also do that in here as a this going to be a blank and set the name as a wall dot worker name and on pool section url is as a default and the password is I said as a x and the plugin in here just set the disable CPU but on the second coin you cannot get any zil option in there so that's why I'm using the SRB miner custom and this is going to be work and so that's why I'm using this one. So on there you can see that I select the first coin as a Retherium, select the wallet as a Retherium Metamark, pool configure in miner and on there choose the custom miner and here is there is no dual coin option is right now available on there. Set the name as on RTH plus as a Zill test and on setup config file in there. I just paste on this URL from there, copy it from there and apply. And as a default is set on as a SRV miner custom and the it has been three algorithm. Just you need to select the wall dot worker name from there. And for the pool, I'm using the echo pool. So that's why I just select this the third one and paste on in there password as a X and for the Zill. However, you cannot get any option in there as a disable CPU option in there. So you can type in on dash dash disable dash CPU press uh, enter again type dash dash algorithm space it has b3 
and then enter again then again type dash dash pool and copy this one and pasted it on there okay and for the wallet again enter and dash dash wallet select your Rhetorium wallet from there this one and copy it from there and paste on in here and set a dot type your rig name so my rig name is this one so i just copy it from the setting option and copy it in here and paste on in there so what about the zeal so there is no zeal option is available on there so that's why I choose bitcoin.org section and on there I get the algorithm and for that you can see that for the dual coin mining as a Rhetorium and Elephium is available but not the Zill. So that's why I choose the Dynex plus Zill. You can see in there after the Dynex worker name here you can see that there is available the batch file for the Zill. So I just copy it from there the whole section and paste on on this extra config section. On there you can see that dash dash Zill enable then space dash dash Zill pool space u dot crazy pool dot word g colon 5005 space Zill space wallet space Zill your wallet in here and then space dash dash zil esm2 so on there you have to paste on your own wallet and then you have to copy all the things in here and apply or paste in in here okay in here you can see that if i copy it from there all the things this is the the batch file for the zil so you have to choose your zil wallet address so this is my zil wallet address you can copy it on your own and on there zil wallet after the zil wallet you can just delete it on there and paste your wallet address so this is the same just like this so now you have to copy it from there and paste on your extra config argument and apply on changes and just update this is for the flag sheet now for the overclock setting so for the overclock setting we are not using the dynamics overclock setting in here so in before that i guide you that you can set the overclock setting as on the dynamics on this three video and i am using the dynamics overclock setting all these videos for the rhetorium but in this section i am not using the dynamics overclock setting because if i set or use the dynamics overclock setting then it's not working and the hash rate is going down you can get on both as a zeal however it's on rhetorium both you can get as a 3 mega hash to 2 mega hash this is not working so that's why you can see in here i am not using any overclock setting direct on there so what is the overclock setting so i am using not the auto fan speed also in there and i just said all the things direct on my overclock setting so you can see in here for the overclock setting i am using this is my 3060 v1 quad so that's why i am using dynex and elephium or you can say dynex and radium overclock setting that is the same overclock setting so on there you can see that the medium overclock setting is about 2000 and the power limit is 150 and the lock core clock is 1605 but if you set the 1605 then your mining is going to be a start and then it's working fine after the half an hour it's going to be a crash but if this not going to be a crash then it's good for you but if this is going to be a crash you can set my overclock setting however you can set on there as a 1500 and on memory clock you can set this is the high overclock setting the power limit is 150 and fan speed you can set any of this for your choice and for the lock core class i said first on the 1605 as the hash rate dot you know, is recommended but this is going to be a crash after the half an hour so first half an hour is going to be smoothly working fine and there is no issue but after the half an hour it's going to be a, my screen is going to be a blank and my card is not detecting so that's why it is not mining so that's why i just reduced my lock code clock to 1500 however this is going to be a not working also in that so i reduce again the overclock setting as a 1470 and is working fine and this is not going to be a crash and for the memory clock i set the medium overclock setting as on the 2000 as hash rate dot is recommended and on the fan speed i set about 80 and just save on in there and now what is the hash rate and the efficiency get 
on my 3060 v1 card so this is the live update and here you can see that my 3060 v1 card is now mining on Rhetorium and also the zilica so for the Rhetorium, i have to pay one percent fee and for the zilica no def fee and on the Rhetorium, i get around 47.80 megahertz per second and the efficiency is 423.01 but in here one more thing is that on there you can see that on mining section on the Rhetorium, you can get the 47.80 megahertz per second but on the zil that is you don't get any hash rate in there so there is a critical process in is in here so in before i thought about that it's not mining and it's not working the zeal and only the rhetorium is working and it's get around the full mega has how it can generate on the 3060 v1 card but on the other time i see that both are working the actual thing is that when rhetorium is mining the zeal is going to be a pause on that section but on the other hand when zeal is mining and get the hash rate then on that time the rhythm is going to be a pause and this is going to be a happen so that's why i got the result and thought that this is working so right now is the time that you can see and can understand that what i actually want to say so right now you can see that ethereum is going to be a pause and on there on the zil section you can see that the zil is right now is mining and it's get around 47.67 megahertz per second and the efficiency is 403.99 kilohertz per watt so for the rhetorium it's take around 113 to 15 watt and for the zeal it's about 118 to 120 watt it can take for the one 360 v1 card so this is the actual thing if you think that then this is not the right thing but on there here you can see that on the zeal is right now is mining and the ethos or the rhetorium is going to be a pause so side by side i just show you in here that you can understand perfectly that what is going on so on there here you can see that on the left side rhetorium is mining and zil is now pausing and on the other hand the right side here you can see that the zil is mining and on there it can get the same hash rate is kind of like a 47 to 48 mega hash per second on there rhetorium is now pausing so there is side by side i show you in there so you can definitely understand so this is going to be happen also the dynex and the zeal as a dual coin mining so that's why i just thought that this is going to be working and this is totally fine so now i am going to show you that on the pool section that it is working actually or not so in here here you can see on the left side that it's for the eka pool server and i'm using the rhetorium on this and i just pasted my wallet address and just load out and in here here you can see that it's the reported it's about 54.48 mega hash per second but this is not the correct it's about 48 mega is roughly it's going on the worker is on live and the share has rate is right now 0.013 this is some pending balances in here because i make a video it's about that the dual coin mining on radiant alifium and also the single coin mining as a rhetorium and now for the zilica in the right hand here you can see that i'm using the crazypool.org and in here i just again paste on my wallet address and on the lookup section i just click on in there in here here you can see that the reported hash rate is right now 46.09 mega hash however there is also the hash rate is going to be high it's about 84.05 but this is not the correct but for the echo pool there is no reported hash rate is showing on that but on the crazy pool there is for the zilica there is 46.09 mega has the reported hash rate and this is going to be correct however there is i get it's around 47 mega hash to 48 mega hash but this is in here it's showing about 46 mega hash so this is the live update on high voice and here you can see that rhetorium is getting around 47.74 mega hash however the zil is not showing in there on before videos alifium is also showing in there for the mining because they are both working on the same time but right now 
because of the zilica is not mining so that's why it's showing na but when the zilica is going to be a mining rhythm is going to be a na and the zilica is showing the hash rate now here you can see that i set all the overclock setting direct on there the fan speed is 80 core clocks is 1605 memory clocks is 2000 and the power limit is 150 i don't use any auto fan speed option in there and here you can see that this is disable is right now all the settings i set on the overclock setting in there so this is the overall things in this video and here you can see that this is the flat sheet is about that how i create the flat sheet and also the algorithm choose for the zilica and for the overclock setting i am using for my 3060 v1 card so this is it in this video and the update so if you want to mine zilica with rhythm so you can copy all the flat sheet settings from my description i'll give you all the things in my description this is it in this video. I hope this will be helpful for you and if this video is helpful for you, please like and subscribe to my channel and comment on below the opinion it's about for the dual coin mining as a Rhythm and also the Zilica. So that's it in this video. So have a great day. See you in the next one.